Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here. And in this video, we're going to be replacing this cheap, kind of unsafe uh, power supply on our Annette A8 with a much better, higher quality, 500 watt Cooler Master ATX power supply. And I'm going to show you guys how to use an ATX power supply with your 3D printer. I'll also place a link in the description to a similar one to the one I'm using. Um, so there's a lot of cables with a ATX power supply typically, unless you get the modular kind. And we are not going to be using all of these. We're only going to be using the green and one of the black cables from the big uh, motherboard connector, the 22 or 24 pin, I believe. We're only using the green and the black because basically when you flip the switch on a computer power supply, the power supply won't turn on until those two uh, are touched together. And then we're going to use this four pin, which is the actual power line or the main main power line with the 12 volts that we need. So to start off, you're just going to take some scissors and cut the plug right off of the four pin. And then you need to basically expose the wire. Um, you can do this using a number of ways. Easiest way is wire strippers. Um, you can use a lighter to basically put a lighter to it. And once the rubber is soft or the outer coating, um, you can just kind of pull it off. Or you can torture yourself like I did with a pair of really crappy scissors. Either way, it doesn't really matter as long as... Once you are done, you have all of the four cables exposed, just like this. So for the Annette A8, um, there is only two lines for the power. We've got the red and the black. So we're going to replace that with the yellow and the black. Black goes where the black was, yellow goes where the red was. If you're using a uh, ramps board. It's basically going to be like this. I labeled it for you guys. So it goes yellow, black, yellow, black from the inside to the outside. But since this one only has actually two ports for the power, all we're going to do is we're going to take the two yellow uh, power cables from the ATX power supply and twist them together and put them into the terminal for the uh, power. And then we're going to take the black two black cables from the ATX power supply and twist them together and put them in the terminal uh, that has the negative um, which on mine is the right side, and then just clamp it down. Um, I'm going to be only having one of these black cables and one of the yellow cables to each of them because I'll be using a separate board for my hotbed later on, but um, that doesn't, it's not important for right now. So then you're going to need to cut the green cable and then just any of the black cables. It doesn't really matter. Um, and you're going to have to strip them down and connect them together. That way, again, every time you turn the power supply on it'll actually turn on and not just go into like a sleep mode or uh, kind of a inactive mode and the easiest way to do this again is just to kind of cut them strip them down which would with whatever method you have and then just twist them together that way they make a connection um, if you want to use your power supply or don't want to destroy your power supply you don't have to cut them you can actually use like a jumper wire um, but I just planned on using it strictly for this 3D printer, so it was no big deal for me. And I used a heat shrink tubing to basically slide it over the wires, and that way I can cover the exposed wires. But um, you're more than welcome to use electrical tape or whatever, whatever other method you have, um, you know, to basically cover and insulate the wires. Um, but I really like heat shrink tubing. It just keeps, keeps everything really, really nice. And then you just take a lighter or you can use a hot wand or whatever. Lighter is just easier and take a lighter to it real quickly and then it'll shrink down and your wire is covered. Then if all went well, you can just plug in the cable, flip the switch and you should have power on your 3D printer. So this has been how to use an ATX power supply for your 3D printer. It is a really, really easy thing to do, and I highly recommend it, really, if you're looking for a better option for your 3D printer or need higher wattage or anything like that. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more great videos. And if you want to support the channel furthermore and uh, donate to the Patreon, I'll place a link in the descriptions down below. Once again, this has been Daniel from ModBot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace, guys.